The Avengers is a wet dream for any superhero fanatic, but for anyone who hasn't read the comic books, it's very light entertainment. However, with Age of Ultron, they have made a film that everyone can enjoy. I find this to be a much better film than the first one, and that's because of the tone of the film. I think we have the phase two films to thank for that. The ambience of Captain America is constant in Age of Ultron. That being said, I did find myself missing a bit of Tom Forey from the mischief master Tom Hiddleston. But there are plenty of performances to keep one entertained during Age of Ultron. Robert Downey Jr. knocks it out the park with some great development for Tony Stark. Chris Hemsworth may not get to show off his abs as much as we would like, but he does boast his comic timing skills. Scarlett Johansson shows a different side to Black Widow and Jeremy Renner actually gets to do something. When it comes down to it, it is the relationships of all these superheroes that drive the movie. The action sequences are just fun fillers. The new additions to Age of Ultron really do make an impression. James Spader's voice work is just wonderfully creepy but also has a nice balance of humour. And we have Paul Bettany, which is great casting for Vision, as I found he, he has this mystical look behind his eyes, and it really suits this character. And the makeup department have done a great job in making him look real rather than a plastic toy. The twins are also a great new addition. As the film went on more, I wanted to watch them more. For the first time ever, I wanted to see more of Aaron Taylor Johnson. Everyone knows how much I love Evan Peters as Quicksilver from the Days of Future Past, but now we have two wonderful interpretations. They are both so different, there is no need to compare, letting you enjoy both performances as they are. There is so much going on in Age of Ultron, it just about passes as coherent entertainment, but the climax of the film feels all too familiar. Fighting a never-ending supply of robots can soon become tiresome. It's as though blockbusters can't let Transformers go. Getting straight to the purpose of the film rather than assembling for an hour gives you an opportunity to become engaged with the characters and the action. That being said, you will feel the two and a half hours paralyse your ass but your heart and head will feel alive. Now why not answer the comic question? An easy one. Who is your favourite Marvel character? If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe so you never miss out on a new video. And don't forget to answer the question by leaving a comment in the box you below. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. Links are in the description box. If you enjoy the channel and would like to give something back, you can become a patron. If you are unable to contribute, hitting the share button to Twitter and Facebook can go a long way too. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.